Hi, and welcome to this episode of Be the Teacher. In this particular episode, I'll be showing you how to use the Blackboard app on both the internet and your mobile device. Blackboard is an online school system that we are using to submit our journals for this class. You may see Blackboard a lot when you get to college because many classes now have both an in-class and online element to them. You can access the Blackboard website at any time by going to our school page, nrhs.nred.org. By going to the student menu, you'll see that there's a Blackboard login, and whether you like it or not, an account has been created for you. So if we go to Blackboard, we are brought to the login page. Each of you has been given a username and a password. By putting in our username and our password, you can log into the site. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll see the classes that you're enrolled in. For this, it's the NRHS Sturpy Film class. By clicking on that particular link, you're brought to a page where you can access the assignments. The assignments are located in the side menu by clicking content. By clicking content, you'll be able to see all of the assignments that you must complete as part of this class. By double clicking the assignment, you'll be taken to the assignment page. You'll see the name of the assignment, the instructions, and the due date. You'll even see the points that are possible for this particular assignment. You'll have the option to browse your computer for a document that you'll want to upload, such as a Microsoft Word document, or by clicking this Type Submission feature, a box will drop down and you can type your journal right into the space here. That is right. Type your journal here. Make sure not to confuse the comments box with the type submission box. Again, to access that type submission box, you must click on this tab here. If you enter your journal in the add comments box, it will be entered in the wrong place. I always recommend typing your journal in a Microsoft Word document and then cutting and pasting it to this type submission box. That's the easiest way to complete the assignment and you'll have a backup in case anything goes wrong. When you're done, come down to submit and click submit and that's it. Your journal will be entered. Again, I clicked the content menu, accessed my journal by double clicking on it, and then I submitted the assignment by clicking on that Type Submission tab. Another great feature about Blackboard is that you can download an app and submit all of your assignments via the app. By going to the Apple App Store or the Android Store, you can download the app and open it. The app is called Blackboard. Once the app is downloaded and installed, you can open and search for your school. Now, there are two accounts that are available to you as a New Rochelle High School student, the City School District of New Rochelle site and the Southern Westchester BOCES site. As of the time of this video, we are under the Southern Westchester BOCES site. So do not make the mistake of searching for the New Rochelle School District. You should search for Southern Westchester BOCES. Once you click on Southern Westchester BOCES, you'll be prompted to log into your account. So let's go ahead and log in. And we'll put our password in. It's the same login and password that you use to create your account. Once you're logged into the site, you'll see the same class that you are registered for on the online version. By clicking that class, you can once again click content and you'll see the assignments that need to be completed. By clicking on the assignment, you'll be taken to a page that looks very similar to the page that you saw on the online version of Blackboard. You can once again see both the directions and the due date and there is that type submission field. That's the greatest way to take advantage of the app. You can click on the type submission tab, drop down the box, and once again type your journal into the space provided. Once you're done, make sure to go down and submit. And similarly to the online version, don't mistake the Add Comments field 
for the Type Submission field. Once you're done, click Submit and you'll be ready to go. Again, I logged in, clicked on my class page, accessed the class content, and then clicked on the individual assignment, pulled down the Type Submission field, and when I was done, I submitted the assignment. Remember, you can use the app or by going to the student tab of our nrhs.enred.org page, you can go to the Blackboard login and log in to the web version of the program. So that's it. If you have any problems, feel free to email me at asterpy at nred.org or you can email me at sterpyenglish at gmail.com. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Be the Teacher, and I'll see you next time.